This video is brought to you by AEG Test. Hello everyone, Reactor Labs here, and today I will be showing you guys the AEG Test Radar 5633 radiation detector. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment any questions, concerns, or video ideas. Let's get straight into it. Alright, now I'm in my lab, and just one thing that I really, really appreciate about this product is it's just so well built. Like, everything about it is high quality and tough materials, and it's durable. It's built to last, and it feels amazing. Another thing I like about it is it is incredibly simple to use, and as you can see, I have a source nearby, and it notices it. Like, it's not even super, super close, but it, it still notices that there's a source, like, right over there. That's pretty impressive. The other thing I'd like to point out is, as you can see, it uses a semiconductor detector, which is less sensitive to a lot of uh, beta radiation and whatnot, just because of the case and all sorts of other factors. However, the dose rate is actually very, very accurate. Another thing I'd like to point out is the menu is very easy to use and navigate, and it's actually quite powerful. There's all sorts of different things you can do. You can turn on particle sound, so if you want to hear that classic Geiger counter beep, then go right ahead. You can also change the screen brightness, although, as you can see, that can get uh, pretty bright. There's the auto shutdown. You can change the units. You can change the language. Here we can see the test mode, and this essentially just determines how fast or slow the detector is able to process information. You will get more accurate readings if you have it on slow, but just for general use and for measuring sources, I like it on fast. Let me bring in my sources, which I think you guys can tell that there's uh, some slightly radioactive granite and whatnot. The sensitive, the area that is sensitive to radiation is in this little portion right here. I think it's like, oh. The area that is sensitive to radiation is right here. The user's manual is actually really, really well done and it comes in multiple languages, so that's cool. It comes with a very nice USB-C charging cable, and then obviously the case, which we don't want to just glaze over the case. I mean, like, they sent a full-on, like, shockproof, waterproof case to, with the detector. That's really awesome. And then also a lanyard, which I do always like that. It's always nice to know that if you're holding the detector, it's just a, a little added sense of security. You can hang like that. Very nice. So the first source that I will be testing are these lightly radioactive minerals. So this is blue apatite. And you might be saying, well, why the heck are you holding it with your bare hands if it's radioactive? It's not really that radioactive. It is barely radioactive. It has trace thorium. So let's see if this detector is sensitive enough to notice it. As you can see, just after a few seconds of holding it, up against these blue appetite specimens, but definitely notice it. Now, here I have a radioactive Fiestor plate, and a very common thing that budget detectors like this one do is overestimate the dose rate coming off of these plates. So let's see if it can accurately measure the dose rate or if it overestimates it. Now, I place it directly on the plate, and as you can see, the level is definitely going up. And wow, as you can see, it doesn't really overestimate the dose rate. That's pretty accurate. That's right around what I'd expect to be seeing. So I've let it sit for a minute, and as you can see, that is actually very, very accurate. That's exactly what I would expect to see from this Fiesta Wear plate. Here, to compare uh, dose rate readings, I have this detector, which is a lot more expensive than this one. But as you can see, the number it comes up with is not that different. That's pretty awesome. 
So, this little device here, it's actually really accurate. I like that a lot. That's good. That means if you're trying to use this, just walking around town or having this for general daily use, then that means that it is actually very, very accurate and will give you the correct readings, unlike a lot of budget Geiger counters that either overestimate or underestimate. If you bring a lot of budget Geiger counters, specifically, not things like semiconductor detectors that are very accurate, but a lot of those other lower cost detectors will either say something is less radioactive than it actually is in terms of dose rate, or it is more radioactive than it actually is in terms of dose rate, which you do not want either of those things. So the fact that this does not do that and gives you correct numbers is very impressive and very good. So next up, I have these radioactive thorium lantern mantles. These are these were meant to be put into lanterns and then burned, and then they would release a whole lot of light. Now, these are radioactive because they had the naturally occurring element thorium. Now, if I grab this detector and place it on top of them, as you can see, after just a few seconds of waiting, the detector clearly notices the increased radiation levels, and then that's also exactly what I would expect to see for these items. That's right around the uh, correct, that's just about the correct number there. Awesome. Now I have the alarm sound turned off, because as you just saw, the alarm is extremely loud. Which is actually great, because if you take this with you, and its main purpose is just to tell you if you're in an area with elevated radiation levels, then you want to know if you're in elevated radiation levels. Now let's take whatever strong source is in this container and measure it. Now this one is very much so many bags. But it, uh, it's a source of uraninite, which is a naturally occurring mineral, but as you can see, it naturally occurring doesn't exactly mean not spicy, because it is quite spicy. As you can see, oh wow, that's very quickly, the way this is reacting tells me that it's going to stop at around the right dose rate. Let's see. Wow. Okay. That's exactly, like, that's almost exactly what the real dose rate coming off of this rock is. That's very good, because a lot of lower-end budget detectors, unlike this one, will either completely saturate and won't even show numbers with a source like this, or they will show extremely exaggerated numbers with a source like this. This handles it perfectly. This detector is amazing for $50. Now, once again, with the uh, more expensive detector, as you can see, same numbers, although the numbers are a little bit jumpy and hard, hard to read with that one. Now, just for fun, let's, uh, let's watch this low-cost detector struggle, this, this other one. As you can see, those are not the numbers we would like to be seeing right now. Those are not correct. They're close, but they're not as close as this. And what's more is it uh, just kind of stops, which isn't normal. Okay, real quick, I'm just going to explain what energy compensation is. 
Energy compensation and radiation detection makes detectors like Agar Mueller tubes more accurate by fixing how they react to different radiation energies. These detectors can overread low energy gamma rays, a filter often made of lead or copper blocks. Some of these rays balancing the detector's response to cause a wider energy to range to match how the human body absorbs radiation. So this reliable dose measurements like microstevers per hour, modern devices use built-in filters for more accurate readings in medical fields like imaging or environmental checks. The AEG test radar 5633 radiation detector is one of the best detectors that you can get for $50. It's extremely durable, it has an awesome hard case which I like a lot, and one of the most amazing things that it can do is it can actually give accurate energy compensated dose rates. So this means whatever dose rate that it gives, you can actually trust that dose rate. It's an amazing detector. And I would recommend it to basically anyone, but especially if you're interested in radiation or starting out the hobby. I feel like $50 to spend on this is a great deal, because then you can actually already get into dose rate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment any questions, concerns, or video ideas. Thank you for watching, and thank you AEG Test for sponsoring this video. Make sure you use the link in the description and use the code in the description to get 10% off of the AEG test radar 5633 radiation detector. Thanks. See you in the next one.